Hi guys, and so welcome back to another video. Um, so, I was running out of ideas to do in the current climate. Obviously, I didn't want to do a full long video because there's too much hair going on here. Um, so, I've been trying to pick up some little quick videos that I can do, and I saw something on the internet, and I've seen them a few times when I've gone into the shop, and they're these self-heating hot pots. And the whole concept um, kind of amazes me. It's something we don't tend to use in like, Western commercial shopping, like you don't go into a supermarket and find like a self-heating pot noodle, you know, these instant meals. Um, it would be amazing for like festivals and camping, but it's not something that we see largely utilised in the Western um, food market. But in Asia and in Asian supermarkets, you can get all the things like this. Uh, this is a vegetable one. Um, the only other one I can find is beef, and I don't eat beef. Um, and basically, what it is, it's a self-heating hot pot. Um, so I'll open it up, I'll show it to you, and I'll kind of explain as we go along how it works and what it does. Okay, so this is the product. Um, let's open it up. So a self-heating vegetable hot pot spicy flavour. Let's get our packaging off. Uh, Let's take the sleeve off. Okay, so we'll keep hold of this sleeve as this has obviously the instructions on. We'll get that closer to the cam. Um, and some of the ingredients, which we'll have a look at in a second. Um, let's put that to the side. So, what is inside of this tub? Here we go. So you can see there's a little steam hole here, assumably. I don't want to break it. How do I open it? Okay, it's a thin lid on top. There we go, so this top lid comes off. And inside we've got some bean vermicelli. It's like the noodles, I believe. Um, three vegetables. Oh, that's quite cute. It's a little um, a cutlery set, a little spoon, some chopsticks, even a napkin. This is really, that's got everything you need. So I believe this is like the bowl in which it all cooks in. We've got the broth, the spicy flavour hot pot seasoning. More vegetables. And now this is where the magic happens, this thing. Um, so let's get the sleeve back. Let's get that in the frame. Um, okay, so if you can see from the pictures there. So I believe looking into it, how it works is obviously you'll pour all your products into this bowl here. You'll add some water um, and you'll pour some water into this bowl over this item here, this bag. And what happens is it will have an exothermic reaction which will make it heat up. Obviously, you put this on top, you shut the lid, um, and you leave it 15 minutes. So you'll leave it to set 15 minutes, everything in there, cooking. Um, which I think is really clever. It's more so this that I'm amazed by, the fact that you just add water to this little pouch and, you know, it has an exothermic reaction, which will create, make it, you know, rapidly heat. And then just leave it to cook stuff. Like, that's hot meals to festivals or camping or, you know, all sorts of different circumstances, but it just amazes me it's not a technology that we openly utilise in the Western market, um, which is why I'm doing this video, because I am so intrigued. So having read the instructions, I believe, first things first, I basically need to take all these um, ingredients and add them to this pot. So let's do that. First things first, we've got spicy flavour hot pot seasoning. Number two is our vegetables. The vermicelli noodles. So these are really thin noodles. I now need to fill it up to this um, maximum fill line, I believe. Be 
impressed with the quality of the products. Chopsticks. And that feels like a toothpick. And then a little spoon as well. It's quite cute. So if I put this bit aside now quickly, and we bring in next the big pot. Now with this, um, we fill the water up first and to this line here. And then this is where the magic happens. Um, I'm concerned though how quick I need to be to do this properly. This product here, put that in the water, put this on top, and shut the lid. I am still quite amazed with it. It's, it's just really cool. It's a, such a trivial, minor thing, but I don't know. Why don't we utilize this as much in Western commercial products? Okay, so we are back. So I've transferred it to another bowl. Got a big bowl to be honest. Um, and we'll go through what's here. So yeah, I had a quick scour of the ingredients. Um, and one thing I noticed is that it says in one of the vegetable, <laughs> is it a vegetable thing? Yeah, in a pickled vegetable, 15% Jews ear. Um, I'm not too sure, can I? Like, legit, just says Jews ear, as in. I don't know what that is. Um, I've got my phone here, actually. Let's Google. See if it's a mistranslation. Okay. It's a fungus. Jews ear is wood ear, mush uh, wood ear mushroom, okay. I want to try the broth first, don't we? Spit it, but can you see that? It's nice, it's quite spicy. Now let's try to figure out what some of these vegetables are. Eve is a lotus fruit. I think I've tried it before. Let's try it again. It's almost like a, a semi-cooked carrot. Um, I think this here is a bamboo shoot. Mm. I do quite like bamboo shoots to be fair. I don't know what this is. It looks like a potato. I'm not too sure if it is a potato. Hmm. That is a potato. And yeah, these like, uh, I think this here is the Jews ear. Hmm. Hmm. Messy. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms, but that is a nice one. Like, you know, like with like enoki mushrooms, they're quite meaty rather than like slimy when you get the like bush, button mushrooms. Um, this green thing. What's that? Ah, that would be kelp that I just ate then. A load of these noodles. <laughs> okay, this isn't easy to pick up. They're nice. I'm not the biggest fan of vermicelli um, noodles. I think they're too thin. I'd rather something with a bit more consistency, like a ramen noodle. Um, but it is nice. It is all really nice. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Um, I was just really intrigued, so I wanted to try it, and I thought I may as well record myself trying it. Um, 
if you've got any festivals planned post lockdown, um, it's definitely a shout. If you go into your local Asian supermarket, they do quite a lot of different things like this. Obviously, unfortunately, they weren't the ones that I found in my store, were either vegetable or beef. Um, there wasn't much variety in terms of what meat was in there, and I don't eat beef, so I hope for vegetables. But if you eat beef, you can get a meaty one as well. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend. Definitely, it's nice, quite spicy. I imagine you've probably got a variety of different tasting ones anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you again next time.